Sims just filed this insane lawsuit to keep the Russian collusion story alive by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. The Democrats can't let go of the Russian collusion story even as it falls apart. It's gotten so ridiculous now that they filed a lawsuit against President Trump, Russia, and WikiLeaks alleging all three conspiring to rig the 2016 election. Give it a rest, Democrats. Use her out of your minds. Keep in mind, this is the same group that refused to allow the FBI to inspect their servers to verify a hack. From Breitbart, alleging a far-reaching conspiracy that contributed to Hillary Clinton's loss in the 2016 election, the Democratic National Committee, DNC, on Friday filed a lawsuit against the Russian government Donald Trump's presidential campaign, and WikiLeaks. I mean, you just got to laugh with all of this. The same DNC, however, refused to allow the FBI to access its server to verify the allegations that Russia carried out a hack during the presidential campaign. Instead, the DNC reached an arrangement with the FBI in which a third-party company, CrowdStrike, conducted forensics on the server and shared details with the FBI. As this reporter previously documented, CrowdStrike was financed to the tune of $100 million from a funding drive by Google Capital. Google Capital, which now goes by the name of Capital G, is an arm of Alphabet Inc., Google's parent company. Eric Schmidt, the chairman of Alphabet, has been a staunch and active supporter of Hillary Clinton and is a longtime donor to the Democratic Party. It was previously, uh, previously reported that Perkins Coy, the uh, law firm that represented the DNC in Clinton's campaign, helped draft CrowdStrike to aid with the DNC's allegedly hacked server. On behalf of the DNC and Clinton's campaign, Perkins Coy also paid the controversial Fusion GPS firm to produce the infamous, largely, dis I would say all of it, discredited anti-Trump dossier compiled by former British spy Christopher Steele. The DNC's legal complaint references the allegedly hacked server as evidence that Russia attempted to disrupt the presidential campaign. The Washington Post reported on the multi-million dollar lawsuit which was filed in Manhattan Federal District Court. The case asserts that the Russian hacking campaign combined with Trump associates' contacts with Russia and the campaign's public cheerleading of the hacks amounted to an illegal conspiracy to interfere in the election that caused serious damage to the Democratic Party. You know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be, t Democratic Party, take a look in the mirror. That's all I have to say with that. The uh, suit filed Friday seeks millions of dollars in compensation to offset damage. It claims the party suffered from the hacks. The DNC argues that the cyber attack undermined its ability to communicate with voters, collect donations, and operate effectively as its employees face personal harassment and, in some cases, death threats. The suit also seeks an acknowledgment from the defendants that they conspire to infiltrate the Democrats' computers, steal information, and disseminate it to influence the election. During the 2016 presidential campaign, Russia launched an all-out assault on our democracy and it found a willing and active partner in Donald Trump's campaign, DNC Chairman Tom Perez uh, claimed in a statement. Well, just looking at Perez, you know who he is. Uh, this con uh, constituted an act of unprecedented treachery. The campaign of a nominee for president of the United States in league with a hostile foreign power to bolster its own chance to win the presidency, uh, Perez added. One of the defendants in the DNC lawsuit is the RGU, Russian Military Intelligence Service, which was accused of being behind the hack into the DNC server. 
In June of 2016, the Washington Post reported on uh, the Perkins Coy law firm's involvement in bringing in CrowdStrike to investigate the DNC's allegedly hacked server. The Washington Post documented how Michael Sussman, a partner with Perkins Coy, who also represented the DNC, contacted CrowdStrike after the DNC suspected its server had been hacked. CrowdStrike then identified hacker groups allegedly tied to Russia. The Post reported that Sussman called in uh, Sean Henry, president of CrowdStrike. The Post reported DNC leaders were tipped uh, to the hack in late April. Chief Executive Amy Dacey uh, got a call from her operations chief saying that their information technology team had noticed some unusual network activity. It's never a call uh, any executive wants to get, but the IT team knew something was awry, Dacey said, and they knew it was serious enough that they wanted experts to investigate. That evening, she spoke with Michael Sussman, a DNC lawyer, who is a partner with Perkins Coy in Washington. Soon after Sussman, a formal federal prosecutor, handled uh, the computer crime cases called Henry, who, whom he has known for many years. Within 24 hours, CrowdStrike had installed software on the DNC's computer so that it could analyze uh, data that could uh, indicate uh, who had gained access when and how. And we all know who gained access and what happened afterwards. Well, according to the Post, citing DNC officials, the hackers had gained access to the entire database of opposition research on GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump. In testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee in January of 2017, then FBI Director James Comey confirmed that the FBI registered multiple requests at different levels to review the DNC hacked servers. Ultimately, the DNC and FBI came to an agreement to which a highly respected private company a reference to CrowdStrike would carry out forensics on the servers and share any information that it discovered with the FBI, Comey testified. We can all rely on that. A senior law enforcement official stressed the importance of the FBI gaining direct access to the servers, a request that was denied by the DNC. The FBI repeatedly stressed to DNC officials the necessity of obtaining direct access to servers and data only to be rebuffed until well uh, after the initial compromise had been mitigated. The official was quoted by the news media as saying, this left the FBI no choice but to rely upon a third party for information. These actions caused significant delays and inhibited the FBI from addressing the intrusion earlier, the official continued. CrowdStrike is a California-based cybersecurity technology company co-founded by experts George Kurtz and Dmitry Alparovich. Alparovich is a non-resident senior fellow of the Cyber Statecraft Initiative at the Atlantic Council. The council takes a hawkish approach towards Russia and has released numerous reports and briefs about Russian aggression. The council is funded by the Rockefeller Brothers Fund, Inc., and the U.S. State Department and NATO Act. Another council funder is the Plowshares Fund, which in turn has received financing from none other than billionaire George Soros's Open Society Foundation. You know, I mean, is this out of the out of this world? I mean, there are no words to describe what is taking place. I mean, I just can't wait till these people are prosecuted. You let them run rampant, and that's what takes place because they should they should be getting their uh, team of attorneys uh, and being uh, subpoenaed and 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 brought into court not the other way around. This is just totally ridiculous here, what, what the Dems are doing. 
Can't they get it through their thick head? Nobody liked you, Hillary. Nobody liked you except a very few handful of nut jobs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.